Hi there. I just love telling you the stories about all the singers that have been part of my masterclass. Just because I want to make it a little bit more real. These are all real people who have been part in my masterclass and who have drastically not only performed their singing skills, but actually their confidence level overall. So today I want to tell you about Kylie. Kylie is a very young singer and I was contacted by her directly. I got an email one day saying, can I join your master class? I'm only 12 years old. And I said, of course you can. You just get me in contact with your dad or mom. Your parents need to contact me. And if they approve and they make the payment, they can, you can totally be part of this. There's not an age limit. So I talked to her dad and he signed her up. And so, yeah, she started the journey in the master class. Now, I know it wasn't easy for her because she was the youngest. However, she is such an awesome singer. Her main issues were that she's very raw and undefined. So she always loved to sing and she just sang a lot. And she could also play the piano. Very talented young lady. But it was just very much unrefined when it came to technique. So what she did was a lot of breathiness going on. And she also told me, I just get so tired vocally very easily. And it seems that when I want to sing for a longer period of time, I just can't. And also, I feel like I have no power in my voice. So the problem was the breathiness. This happens a lot for young girls, especially as they're transitioning into puberty and out of puberty. Usually we start singing as kids, well, you know, the girls, we start singing in a very light and bright way. And we sing high and it's like, I am singing. And a lot of times we're taught that way because a lot of adults, for whatever reason that may be, they sing with us in a very high and light way. I actually talked to a student of mine who is a kindergarten teacher and she said that she was even taught um, in college, she was taught when you sing with kids, you have to sing high and you have to sing in the kind of very bright kind of voice. And I said, what? That is such baloney because what you're teaching children is to, to you know, try to sound that way. What I teach my, you know, my daughter, I just sing the way I do. And then she can chime in. I don't try to sing only head voicey or chest voicey, but in a very natural way, both ways. And so she gets used to the sound of hearing all different kinds of registers and colors in my voice, which is normal. You should use all the different ways you can sing. But a lot of girls are being taught that way. And then we get into a choir. I mean, I already joined a choir when I was a kid, too. Luckily, my dad was a singer and he didn't sing in head voice. So I heard a lot of chest voice and I kind of knew how to do it just by listening. Kids totally learn by just listening a lot. I mean, they just imitate what they hear and see around themselves. So that's where a lot of times our habits for singing come from. So she had this breathiness because she had gotten used to just sounding that way. And uh, when you get into puberty and your voice actually starts to lower a little bit, yes, even for girls, they don't have this really harsh transition like a lot of young boys have, but the girls even still have a transition coming on. And when you don't have any guidance and you do a lot of singing and you have the tendency to sing in this very high, bright, breathy tone and you want to start belting, you're going to run into problems. So that was her major problem. So what we started working on was a lot of exercises for her to know the difference between now I'm in chest voice and this is what it feels like when I have more vocal cord closure and this is how I make my voice not so bright and airy and breathy but like I'm speaking because when she spoke I mean she had a very normal tone so we tried to teach her like hello I'm speaking and this is the way I'm singing this is the way I'm singing just like the way I'm speaking see this is the way I'm singing singing low singing mid voice and singing higher singing higher it wasn't easy, but she's really started to get a sense of, oh, wow, I have this power in my voice when I just use chest voice and I don't get too breathy. 
So I don't speak this way, right? If I spoke this way, I would get very tired vocally very quickly, all the time. But that's the way she sang. She would sing here all the time. It's really exhausting. So it was a process, but it did definitely get better. And she actually joined a competition and she did really well. And she actually produced a song and she recorded a song of her own very nice. And I just love being part of the process. The thing is that every singer is so uniquely different. That's why there's not a one size fits all approach. Even all the courses out there that you can take online uh, that are self study. And I have one of those. I have my back to the basics course, which is currently about 30 videos, also some audio files all these lessons that you can just try to watch and apply yourself. But there is nothing out there that really takes into account that everybody is totally different and takes a different approach. So knowing what it is that you need to work on, that is the hard part. I mean, you can get all the information. And I've talked about that before. You can get all the information out there. It's there. You can go to YouTube. You can go to a bunch of blogs, forums, you name it, there's tons of information out there. And there's lots of vocal coaches who put courses out, who put information out. But to having someone to personally work with you and to actually troubleshoot your own voice to let you know, these are your habits. And this is what you can fix to make it better while still staying true to your own voice. It's really hard to find even if you went to look for a vocal coach, it's really hard to find someone who can hear your voice and really respect your voice. A lot of vocal coaches want to kind of morph you into a version of themselves, which isn't going to work because most likely your voice is not like your teacher's. There are some students in my masterclass who have a similar voice type, um, like I do. They have this kind of a lighter, brighter voice, mid-range kind of, I mean, I can sing higher and lower, but I kind of have a very average ranged female voice. And there are those students who have a completely different color and range. A lot of my students have had lower voices, which I think is no less beautiful than having a higher voice. It just sits lower they don't even have less range than me. They can sing lower than the average female, which means the range is not any less. They still might have two octaves range in, you know, maybe more if you add head voice. But everybody will have a different kind of tessitura of where your voice lies. And you should respect that. I always hate how obsessed a lot of singers become nowadays by having to sing high. Uh, there's a lot of famous singers actually who don't sing high at all. I mean, think of Johnny Cash. He didn't have a high voice and he was an awesome singer. There's just a lot of singers who don't need to have this very high voice or have this large range, as a matter of fact. And you can still sound very, very cool. Very, very beautiful. And like I said before, your strength may be the beautiful resonant sound in your voice. But your strength may also be this maybe rough-edged, gritty sound, but you get under people's skin because you can tell a story and you connect. So that's what I'm here for. And that's what the masterclass is for, to really find out what it is that is your strength and what is your natural voice. Where is it best? Where can you expand your skills and where can you just strengthen what you already have. Everybody is so different. Everybody is so different. And you have to respect that. And that's what I think I have a gift for. I just have this knack for listening to someone's voice and hearing where is the really pretty timbre coming out. What are those moments? And when are those moments when I feel like this sounds to me very authentic and natural. This sounds like you. And that's what I'm trying to find in your voice. What is that 
sound that's going to make you feel like this is authentically your voice. And if you have found your authentic voice, your natural voice, you will also feel like it's so easy to sing in that because you don't have to morph it into something and try to sound like something you just don't even know how to do. It's so frustrating. There's nothing more frustrating than trying to constantly sound like something that you can't be. It, you can't win. It's like you can't win that fight. It's like you're fighting against your voice and that's not going to work. It's like trying to fight against your body. You live in your body and your voice is part of your body. You can't change the way nature made you. But what you can do is appreciate it and find the good things in it, tweak the things that don't work so well, and just become the best version of yourself. So having said all of that, if you are interested in my online masterclass for singers, it is a unique opportunity. I'm opening registration and it stays open until September 11th. After that, I'm closing registration until the end of the year. The next chance will only be in December. It is a premium program, which means it is a little bit more expensive, but there's only going to people, be people in there who are very committed and serious who don't just dabble around and not take it seriously, you will be in a community of highly, highly motivated and supportive singers from all over the world, doesn't matter what level, what age, um, what genre you want to sing. I'm classically trained. I teach pop, musical, theater, jazz, all different genres because I have sung <laughs> everything pretty much on stage. So please, if you're interested... Go to MasterYourVoice.tv. Currently, the program, if you pay in one payment, it is $1,200 US dollars. You can also pay in four payments. It's a four-month program. You can pay in four payments of $350 US dollars. So if you think about that, by the time Christmas rolls around, you could have a whole brand new voice. You could have this, wow, this feeling of, I know what I'm doing and I know what path I need to go down. So turn your passion into success. That's what I always say. It's not enough just to have a passion. You got to know what to do. You got to do the steps and then you can turn it into success. Masteryourvoice.tv. Click on masterclass and you can find all the information on there, what's included, what you get and how it goes. Thank you so much for listening. I hope to see you on the inside and don't forget, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Bye.